So it's basically one step forward, two steps back for the DC cinematic or extended universe here. Uh, I reported last week, obviously, how DC has had some positive news here with the Green Lantern Corps movie officially being, you know, aggressively pushed forward here with John Stewart uh, making his big screen debut in it, as well as the Wonder Woman villain, and uh, you know, the Black Adam movie is going to be happening now with Dwayne Johnson, and now we get word that the Flash. Uh, which was originally, you know, projected to be released in March of 2018, is basically completely up in the air at this point. Uh, the Flash has now been reported to be going right back to square one and back to the drawing board as the script will be rewritten right from page one, basically. So that movie is not going to make the March 2018 release date. Uh, so it is now going to be rewritten by Joby... Harold to do a complete rewrite of the script uh, after it lost its now, I believe, its second director. And uh, so now that Ezra Miller, who will be appearing as the Flash in the Justice League movie coming out in November, um, he is going, uh, Ezra Miller is going to be in uh, the upcoming Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them 2, which will be filming before too much longer. So they've got some time to rework the script here in the meantime while he's filming that film. So I actually applaud WWE, or WB for taking their time here, making sure they get it right, because we've got a good Flash TV show on the CW network right now, and it's, and it's doing very well, and people seem to enjoy that. Um, I still feel like they kind of made a mistake of not bringing in Grant Gustin to bring the TV shows into the films a little bit, and uh, but they wanted to take a different take on it. So I applaud them for wanting to take their time and get the script right with a new director and get on board everybody on the same page before they have another disaster uh like many people believe that bvs and suicide squad were um and while i like those films a lot of people didn't so I, I would much rather see them take their time and knock this out of the park and get on the right track here uh so and we will see the flash in the justice league i just hope that whatever they do in justice league doesn't hinder the Flash's solo film going forward and you know it doesn't you know promise something and then doesn't deliver any solo film or something like that so they've got to be very careful with what they've already written and moving forward uh, but I was just a little disheartened to hear that now that you've got to rewrite the script all the way from the beginning I mean that's just you know something you don't want to hear a movie that is supposed to be releasing in about a year and it's still currently you know scheduled to release in about a year but that will not happen. There is no way with a special effects movie as heavy as The Flash would be to, you know, film or write, film, you know, produce it and, you know, edit it and all that and market it before it's time to release. It just would not happen. So it's probably going to be 2019 at the earliest, probably before The Flash hits the big screen. Um, also in DC News, uh, we it's now been reported by David Ayer himself, the director of Suicide Squad. He took to his Twitter and he actually wrote, a quote unquote, he wished he had a time machine basically to uh, make it up to the fans and make. He, he regrets not making the Joker the central villain of that film. Um, obviously, a lot of the marketing was centered around Jared Leto's Joker, and in the film, we probably got maybe 20 to 25 minutes of Jared Leto at the most. Um, so, I mean, obviously, you know, he, I'm sure he regrets that because the movie did not get, you know, the, the greatest critical response. It made money, though. It made a lot of money. So it's not a complete failure. Um, and obviously it introduced uh, us to the, the entire world to Margot Robbie as, uh, Harley Quinn. And she was a, you know, well received by most folks, I think. I know I personally enjoyed the film, uh, but, um. You know, it went it underwent massive uh, editing and reshoots and things like that before it premiered in theater. I, I think WB kind of panicked a little bit and they kind of decided to change this stuff and probably put more of Joker in it actually uh, to kind of appease fans and things like that. And it's very reactionary to me. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, obviously, and David Ayer, I believe, is uh, signed to direct the uh, new Suicide Squad you know, breakout film, so to speak, with Margot Robbie and called Gotham City Sirens, which will be a spinoff to the Suicide Squad a little bit, which will feature Catwoman, uh, Poison Ivy, and Harley Quinn in that movie, kind of like a, it's like a villainous tree, trio, so to speak, and they uh, te they team up and probably go up against some good guy, or I don't know, they may, they may be more like an anti-hero type thing as well there, uh, to where, you know, maybe they go after Joker a little bit, uh, and so maybe uh, David Ayer is coming out and saying this to kind of, uh, 
you know, appease Jared Leto a little bit, kind of apologize to him personally, say, hey, we want you in our film, The Gotham City Sirens. I'm sorry for Suicide Squad. Please reconsider and join us and get excited about Joker again because I think Jared Leto took it a little personally once they, he, you know, he heard that they cut a lot of his films and, or a lot of his uh, uh, scenes, I should say, from Suicide Squad and they didn't make the final cut. And I think he was a little hurt by that. Um, so, and obviously we, we got, like last week, I uh, posted a video about how Jared Leto is now teasing uh, a return to the Joker by posting the Killing Joke, uh, you know, poster with the uh, or the cover with the the camera and everything from the Killing Joke, and also he posted uh, a picture of like a little you know purple case holding a set of like Joker's teeth that was knocked out, which is why he had the grill on Suicide Squad. So Joker, so Jared Leto is obviously getting excited to play the Joker again a little bit here. So maybe they're teasing a little bit that he will appear in Gotham City Sirens, or maybe he's going to appear in the upcoming Batman movie directed by Ben Affleck. Uh, so. I mean, obviously, David Ayer, you know, regrets the decisions he made, and, and I'm sure going forward, hopefully he'll change things up a little bit, and hopefully it'll be for the better, but uh, uh, we're just going to see where they go right now. Gotham City Sirens is just kind of, it's got no release date, but it's been pretty much confirmed it's coming, uh, so we'll see where they go, but DC, man, I really don't know what to tell them. They need to get their act together. <laughs> Well, that'll just about do it for me, everybody. Thank you for watching this video, and if you like what you saw here, please comment and like this video. And you can also subscribe to the Jailcast on YouTube uh, by searching for Jailcast there. You can also find links in the description of this video for my Facebook and Twitter, or you can go to facebook.com slash jailcast, or you can find me on Twitter at Eric Jail. So, until next time, thank you for watching. God bless.